can treat these earlier changes in clinic using a combination of injections and laser treatment. The injections are a subset of medication called anti-VEGF, which blocks the stimulus for the eye to grow new blood vessels. After the eye is thoroughly and completely numb, the anti-VEGF medication is injected directly into the eye. This usually has to be repeated for a series of injections because the medication doesn't stay in the eye forever, but rather gets washed out. Laser works in a similar way in that it decreases the stimulus for the eye to grow new blood vessels. The great thing about laser is that it is a more permanent and long-lasting solution, usually requiring only a few sessions to complete the treatment. In advanced stages of proliferative diabetic retinopathy, where the eye is filled with blood or when scar tissue is pulling on the retina, your retina specialist may recommend eye surgery. This is called a vitrectomy, in which the surgeon makes tiny incisions in the white part of the eye and surgically removes the blood and scar tissue from the surface of the retina. The most important thing you can do for your vision if you are diabetic is to strictly control both your blood sugars and your blood pressure. If your diabetic retinopathy is advanced, I may suggest you see a diabetes specialist called an endocrinologist to help you manage the diabetes. Remember, in ophthalmology, we are privileged to be able to see the actual blood vessels on the inside of the eye. The appearance of those vessels is usually a good indicator of what is happening to the vessels elsewhere in the body, in other organs such as the heart or the kidneys. While your vision is undoubtedly one of your most prized possessions, getting good control of diabetes can in general help you live a long and healthy life.